All right, Captain Armstrong. I met you when you were just a lowly lieutenant yeah. running the convoy up here from uh, from uh, Kuwait. What did you think of that convoy? It was fun. It was fun? <laughs> you lying oh, dog. No, that was a horrible experience. Uh, Speak up a little bit because I don't know how good this mic is. No, it was a horrible experience. And how so? Three, Go ahead, it's long, it's long over. One roll you're over. Fine, fine. Nobody fine. knew about it. They just got a professional. Nobody's going to know about you and the, and the uh, XO having, a, having words. <laughs> Him giving you a hard time about tire changes and everything else on the way up here. That wasn't too bad. It was pretty uh, stressful time. Yeah. It was a little bit cold, wasn't it? Oh, extremely cold. How would you describe that cold in Kuwait and, and southern Iraq? It was, uh... Cold as a bitch? Or how would you say? Come on, you can say whatever you want. Cold as a, uh... Witch is, uh... <laughs> oh, I'm so say that again, Sarge. <laughs> that was you, Sarge. Go ahead. It was colder than what? A polar bear pudding. All right. <laughs> So, uh, you got anything you'd want to share with some of my friends back back in the States? I don't know you very well. Uh, we don't really work together. That was the only time we ever worked. Hey, gosh, like, you're not in the way at all. That was about the only time we ever worked together. Bad as you look on the news, uh, we're doing uh, pretty much overall, doing overall, though. Feel safe. Yeah. Have fun. All right. Any other comments? What do you do for the Army? You assist in what? I assist in operations, uh, organizing convoys, yeah. planning, training. What's your biggest concern day to day? You get off the fob a lot? No, I don't get off the fob a lot anymore, especially now. The biggest concern every day is scheduling flights. Everybody wants to fly all over Baghdad and Iraq. How much does it cost to get a good flight over Baghdad? Oh. Can I pay with MasterCard? I want to say how much it might cost. <laughs> it might cost your ass, right? It might cost your life. Yeah. <laughs> you know much about that incident where the uh, helicopter was shot down a few weeks ago? Uh, I don't know about that. I don't put out that information. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It was a Russian-made helicopter was shot down, and the guy on the ground was, uh, was murdered by the insurgents. But they, they all look like contractors or something. Because he spoke English. They put it on the on the internet so everybody else could enjoy them murdering him. Those are guys that like to fly motors. You know, contractors. Uh, the contractors are the ones that like to fly the motors. Yeah, they like to kill us all. Anybody else got anything they want to say? About polar bears or anything else? No, no, no. Yeah, go ahead, Neat. I want to just show them that dust spot on your head. Holy smokes, you work so hard, you just come to chow with dust all over you, ain't got time to mess around. <laughs> I think I got a little battery power left. I'll come around the table here, say hard to Sergeant Low. I haven't seen you hemorrhage in a long time, Sergeant Low. Right. I came into the dentist's office, he wanted me to get a quick consult on your uh, tooth problem. How you been since then? I've been doing fine. All right. We don't know each other very well, but... What do you think of this place? Don't give me the brochure answer. We're doing a good job. We're doing this, doing that. You go off the fob a lot? You got a lot of soldiers off the fob? Yeah, I think we're going to the fob daily, sir, but uh, they go and come back. It's been good? It's been good. No bad experiences? No bad experiences, uh, other than the normal experience. Yeah. My Iraqi experience. Other than that, we're making it. What we do, plan on leaving. Are you doing what you want to be doing here? I do what I do here. <laughs> <laughs> That's honest. That's honest. That's a good answer. That's a really good answer. The, um, any, any anecdotes you'd like to share? No, sir. I'm here doing my job. And I'm ready to go. All right, Sergeant Law. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Wonderful to talk to an NCO like yourself, even when he's not bleeding all over the place. <laughs> Poor Sergeant Logue, he went in to get a dental procedure and a guy nicked a little artery and it took uh, two or three of us to figure out how to get it shut down before he lost all his blood. And he just remained just cool as a cucumber, <laughs> trusting us, the Army physicians and dentists. I, I got to give it to the soldiers that trust us 
uh, even when things don't go as planned, and, and you know that's that's important to us as doctors too. And uh, we we appreciate being being trusted. It's it's a lot, you know, to to trust another. And uh, I don't know. It's kind of hard to put it into words, but I was really glad you you didn't hold a grudge for something that happened like that. Yeah. And that's why y'all gave him a month quarter. <laughs> Say that again. He got a month a quarter. Yeah, that's why y'all gave him a month a quarter. He got a month. Wow, quarter. I didn't hear about that. <laughs> yeah. Man. A whole month. I ain't never seen nobody get that stuff before. <laughs> he made history. <laughs> you got anything, Star Roach? Uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> All right, Star Roach. You're the man. Thanks.